Okay, this is the start of our uh, our install thread for the for the firewall. Just a clip removal tool. Simple. You can get it at AutoZone anywhere. Just makes it so you don't crack all your clips. Uh, they have a couple different styles. This is one that we have that, since we do a lot of this stuff. You got to be careful on these pads. Obviously, there's a clip that goes inside of here. That if you're not careful, you'll rip the pad, which this one's already been done to. Get that one out. You're gonna want to pull all these clips out. here for the ECU cover. We just have a little dolly over here we set everything on. Now, on this install, you'll notice that we have a bracket that we originally designed, if you get a photograph of it here, to move the purge valve. We no longer here. Pop this off. And this will slide back right behind here, like this. This wiring's some aftermarket and we didn't do. Now, after you get that loose, you're gonna grab a 13 mil. And you're gonna take the strut tower bar loose. Pull that up, it should move back just a hair. Move out of the way, right here. And grab this strut tower bar and pull it up. Now, the big concern you have is behind here, right here is where it's attached to the windshield wipers. There's the strut tower bar. So take the firewall, set it like so. One of the things you have to do is this wiring harness, this grounding point is turned back this way. Loosen it up, slide the grounding part so it's forward. These wires will get pushed back. This will slide in, similar to that. And we have a slit in the firewall right there so that it slides around that hole. And then that's about how she fits. You want to come over and make sure that you're not hitting anything anywhere or you're locked up. Wrap that hose right there. And come down. And that's the basic fitment of the wire, of how the firewall goes in. Right about like that. Now we have a reroute that I do on these for some customers that looks pretty nice. You pinch this and get it off. And actually, I'm having a problem today. You can reroute it underneath there. Come back up. in nice and tight like that kind of cleans it up a little bit let's grab our strut tower come back in this can be done with the cow off all the way too but you can do it with the cow on it's just a little bit of a fight Go ahead and pick that side up of the cow. And get up just get up under the So that'll just drop right back down in. And this is what you'll do. Is 
to line it up where it needs to be at. Drop one bolt Same in. Same on this side. There's a piece of the fresh air intake. A tab that sticks out that the firewall sits on that you have to get this to go underneath. If you get something underneath it, you can normally just slide right under it. And then again on this side, put one bolt in just to hold it up square when you want it. That will give you firewall. Now, what we do is normally put spring clamp. Take a clamp, clamp it. Clamp over here and clamp it. And I prefer to use a, uh, a red marker, some tape. Tape, and then the red mark. If you don't use tape, red marker still works the best because you can see it. 